People of YouTube, I'm Aaron, a software startup CEO who knows nothing about electricity. Welcome to our third episode on my attempt to get a SPAN smart subpanel installed in my home. We now have signs of life, and let's talk a little bit about these signs of life about my installation on this episode. It all started from an email from Mike, my project manager at SPAN, introducing me to an individual from Handy.com. Um, I think there's some relation between Handy.com and HomeAdvisor. Maybe they're owned by the same company. But it looked like Handy.com is setting up the electrical inspection from an electrician to come get my sub panels installed. Personally, I don't care if they use Handy to find an electrician. Um, as long as it gets installed, I'll be a happy customer. It does make me concerned uh, about the startup nature with SPAN. If I would have started SPAN, I would be having the same exact problem, which is a lot of demand and a lack of a dealer network to do the installation. And since they are using basically any electrician sourced by Handy, it does lead me to believe that they're likely losing money on my installation. You see, the way this works is you purchase your SPAN and SPAN tells you how much the product plus the installation costs. It's one single number, which is exactly the right thing to do. It's more difficult for the client if you have two different numbers because they don't know what the full price of installation and ownership is. And as you build your reseller electrician network, and as more electricians are reselling your product, you tell the electrician, hey, look, SPAN costs $5,000. You can only charge $3,500 to install. However, in my case, since it's a random electrician selected by Handy, the electrician is likely going to just quote a price. Um, hopefully it's within that range that they had budgeted for the deal. And who knows how much of the cut Handy.com is getting from this deal as well, further taking more revenue away from the deal from SPAN. I do have to warn you that this is normal startup growth problems. In the startup world, when your demand exceeds the ability for you to execute delivery of products, that's typically a champagne problem. Unless you can't execute quickly enough and you lose that business before uh, it was time to be implemented. So I've got my fingers crossed for SPAN that they quickly fill their dealer network with qualified electricians because right now they have no leverage with the electrician on how much they will charge SPAN to install your subpanel. But these are all assumptions on my part. I know of no idea how electricity works. So Handy.com sent out Car Carlisle Electric, um, who came here next day. So I gotta say, Handy uh, was really quick at finding an electrician. And Mr. Carlisle that came out, I think I've got some video of him. Let's see what he's got to say on what he's looking for. Jake's going to be, you know, exactly what we got to do. Um, you going to look at the sub panels? You're looking for anything in particular with Maybe the panels? The sub panels, the mounter breaker, you know, whatever's going to try to cost me money. Is there, is there anything that could stop the project? Nothing that I know of right now. Carlisle did a thorough job opening and inspecting the sub panels. I'm not quite certain how technical Carlisle is, but he did say he had replaced sub panels in the past and this was part of his normal trade. Back on the electrician dealer network, uh, I'm located in Tampa, Florida, not a small town by any means. So if you're located somewhere remote, or you're not by a very large city, you may run into the same issue as I am. Now that Carlisle is gone, as for next steps, I'm not quite sure. I'm sure I'll hear back from either Handy or Span next week. And when I do, you folks will be the first to know. And that's it for my Span update. 
it looks like I'm going to have to start making the Tesla solar roof update videos because I am scheduled for the 25th of this month for installation. I wonder if it's going to happen. And with that, I've got one last thing to say. Toodles.